Alright, um, so, whoa, lost my marker. In this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have a fraction times another fraction. So we know in fractions times fractions, we just multiply across, right? Now, I, you know, might be a little crazy here once in a while, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to multiply my trinomial times a binomial because I have had to do that before, Christian. And it was not very much fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means you're supposed to be writing this one down. That's us. And then, I, I know, well, then I, you want to be watching what we're going to do there. Because it's going to become very important. Because if you multiply this times this, we can do it. We've learned how to do it. It's possible. Then you have a trinomial times another trinomial. That's going to be a lot of work as well. So what we want to do is before we multiply any of these out, since we have polynomials, let's see if we can simplify this any further to undo or to eliminate some of our common factors. So the first, the main important thing, what I'm going to have you guys do, what I would just recommend is if you guys got, are really good with your factoring, then you can just um, factor on the problem on your separate sheet of paper. If you're not very strong in factoring, you're probably going to want to write out each term that you can factor. Now in this case, we all have trinomials we can factor, but you guys, as you know, you can factor out a binomial, right? If you had a binomial of 3x plus 6, you could factor out a 3, right? So it's anything you guys can factor. So here I have x squared minus 16x minus 16. So I want to see, can I factor this? The factor form is x minus 8 times x plus 2, right? Here, what can I factor? This is a perfect square trinomial, which hopefully everybody knows. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Then we have this one, which would be um, x plus 6. No, no. Five x plus 3 and x plus 2. Okay. okay, so now all I'm simply going to do, do you guys see how I factored this out? It wasn't any of the crazy stuff we've already done. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in our factored forms for each one of our polynomials that we have. Okay, now? So I have x minus 8 times x plus 2 divided by x minus 8 times x minus 8 times x minus 8 over x plus 3 times x plus 2. Now, when I'm multiplying across, ladies and gentlemen, I'm multiplying everything across, right? So really, this all turns into, I'm multiplying this times this, and then this times this, so everything turns into a big multiplication problem. Everything's just a big multiplication problem. So now I need to see what terms or what factors or binomials can I now divide out, meaning divide to give me equal one. Well, I see those divide out, those divide out, those divide out, so I'm just left with 1 over x plus 3. You are super smart. I did that last. How did it? They can divide out even though they're not the same. It all comes, multi it's all the big multiplication problem. So yes. Okay, any questions? No? Good. Alex, write that one down? I did. Good. I don't need to look, I was just asking.